that work as a more like a propaganda tool or was it did it really help? Sure. Well, sh well, sure, sure. It does. It is. It's attention getting. Now, the other part of it is, uh, it goes by, uh, you know, political and ethical thinking. That um, uh, if he was not in the film, if I censored him, does that mean that what he suffered had no meaning? Because he later became a communist and perhaps a traitor, does that somehow negate the fact that he suffered? I cannot abide that thought. I think that uh, uh, for whatever he did later, he didn't deserve what happened to him. In regards to the general, uh, this is, uh, uh, you talked about the craft, uh, especially when you were um, video taping the interview because it seemed like there, there is only one source of light okay and uh, the framing the composition stays the same there is no much uh, change from medium to a close up and there's a lot of contrast you see a light source from one side of the uh, frame what was was that by choice or stylistically just wanted to know it was, a it was a choice. It was absolutely a choice. Uh, when I shoot interviews, I use available light. Uh, I prefer to do it absolutely by myself, without a sound man, without a camera operator. I know how to do all of that stuff. So I go into that room where I interviewed him, and the key light is coming from the window, the big window. And I sat him down, and obviously, I could have moved him 45 degrees and he would have been fully lit. And my instinct was to leave the metaphor, to leave him half dark, to make him into dark. The person who is masked, half masked, he is wearing sunglasses all the time, he hides behind them. And can you hear him? No. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't. I, yeah, I, I can't. Can. Can. Okay. And uh, I realized that I was making him into Darth Vader from Star Wars. Uh, I was making him look ominous, and that was intentional. I thought better of it many, many times, but in the end, you know, I would think it was a mistake later, and then I would think it was okay, and I ended up being glad that I did it that way, because it seemed to me that the metaphor held. Uh, hi, Chris. Are you here? Hi. Hi. Uh, my question was, um, how did you uh, get the, uh, what were your sources in order to uh, conduct your interviews? How did you get the people to come about it? And where did the president come in? How did you get your start? Uh, the, the people there, um, I, I shot interviews in the United States, in Canada, in Russia, and in Poland. And, um, there's a network of people who uh, uh, survived that experience, nobody understands them, and they form clubs. So I was able to contact them through that. In uh, Russia, there's an organization called Memorial, and I contacted people through that. Um, so you get into a network, and it's on a one-to-one uh, -one basis. One person knows somebody, they know somebody else. Uh, my production manager had previously set up an interview with Yarzelski, and that's how I did that. Hi, Chris. This is Zambia. Um, okay. I don't have much of a question. I just wanted to say that I really appreciate the film, and I really like the artwork in it. It was really deep. I wanted to know um, any reaction from the Russians or any of the Soviet Well, I've, I've, tried to, I've tried to get it screened there at various festivals in uh, Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, and uh, no luck there. Um, uh, they, to some degree, want to put all of this behind them and not dwell on the past, partially because the people that did these things are still in power there. And that was certainly my experience when I went there. Well, pe people I know here who... Uh, 
have seen it who are either, you know, if, if we're going to take the Soviet Union broadly, uh, uh, I had a screening this past summer at a Lithuanian museum, and the people there very, very much appreciated it, very much were pleased that somebody had done something on this subject because they had been affected by it. And the Russians I've spoken to here who have seen it, again, they were very, very appreciative. Um, people from other uh, uh, people's republics also were very interested because this was a topic they knew virtually uh, nothing about because it fell into the shadow of censorship in those countries. Now, why is it not that it's, uh, it was very familiar in a way that not many people have heard about this, uh, uh, this part of uh, the history of Poland? Because most of us just know about what German, uh, when Germans made it, when Hitler right? Like, you, you, you might be interested to learn that uh, of the people who managed to get out of the Soviet Union, um, uh, some of these orphan children ended up, in fact, in your part of the world. So, of course, at that time, it was British Mandate in Mirage, right? They, uh, that uh, Pakistan and India were part of one political state administered by the British at that time. And uh, they ended up in the, in, in, the, in, in the Indian subcontinent and uh, lived there for some time and eventually moved on either back to Poland or to uh, uh, Australia, Canada, or the United States. That was that your family, yourself, or the humanity? Um, you know, to tell you the truth, the answer is kind of easy, and that's I would tell American friends these various family stories and stories I had heard from acquaintances, and they would say, Chris, you have to write a screenplay about this. You have to make a film about this. And of course, I didn't listen. I mean, these were just, you know, the stories I grew up with. I took it for granted completely. Um, and then at some point, uh, I guess I was mature enough to think, yeah, indeed, nobody else seems to be doing it. Maybe, maybe that's what I should do. Um, so that was kind of why, and um, I got got into it. And um, I have another film planned on this, and uh, um, um, I have written one screenplay based on this that I'm seeking to, you know. Uh, uh, haven't seen the light of day, always very difficult. Um, but that's how I started. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, Chris, uh, once again, uh, I, on behalf of my students, and personally, thank you for taking time out for this. This, I think, was very, very helpful. All right. Thank, thank you. All. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye.